Cole, and welcome back to About the Valley, our marathon night here, two hours in a row, but we're going to have the summer off, so we'll, we'll get rested. And here's my next two guests, and it's Major, Major, Major. Wait, get it right yeah. here, Major and Creighton Dorfman. Yes. yes. Thank you for having us. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they are movie makers. That's what right. You, would you say producers? Um, yeah, yeah. Both filmmakers. Yeah. Producer. Filmmakers. More of a producer, directing. Oh, yeah. okay, producer and director. Yes. Yeah. And it's actually, you're doing this for your uh, school project, right? Yeah, it's my school project at uh, Columbia. and uh, Colum Columbia University. Columbia University. In uh, downtown Manhattan. That's right, yep. Yeah, and, over um, by Columbus Square, right? Not quite. It's a not little quite. farther up. Yeah. yeah, but close by. Close by, yeah. Yeah. Relatively. Great school. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a great location, a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so, I mean, this is not a, a simple c couple of guys out with a video camera. This is a, this is a full full uh, production. Mm -hmm. This is not going to be just, uh, like they say, somebody coming out with a video camera on an afternoon and taking pictures. This is yeah, a real, the... true production with camera people, uh, a whole crew, right? Yeah, it's not just, you know, somebody with an iPhone. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is <laughs> so it, it, the real thing. This is the real film being made. And it's going to be right out here next to the studio at the Little League field. Yeah. A portion of the film, not the entire film. Yeah, one, one scene. Yeah. Yeah, we're putting it together. Uh, Creighton is kind of spearheading that whole scene. Yeah. You know, baseball scene, so. Uh, well, let's get into the film itself. What's the film about? The film's about uh, this young mom. Uh, it's over the course of one day. And she's just kind of struggling to take care of her two rambunctious boys, um, you know, over the course of this one day. And it kind of... Um, Is she a single mom? Or? She's a single mom. Uh-huh. And uh, it kind of, you know, follows this family, you know, over a few hours. And then it escalates at this big scene at a Little League baseball game. <laughs> wow. Yeah. In front of all these people. A scene amongst her two sons or, and her or... It's other people involved. There's other people involved. A lot of parents watching. Uh, ah. I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, yeah, it's uh, she. Yeah, we want to announce to people in in town here that you are looking for seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, to come in fill the to fill the uh, bleachers up, right? Right. Yeah, it's a, the biggest scene in the film, um, probably like climax wise and um, you know people wise. So we're we're definitely looking for. Um, some people to fill out, make it look authentic and real, like yep. a real baseball game would. There's no payment, though. <laughs> okay, they, yeah. they, they're doing this as, as part of their their school project, their college project. Okay, so yeah. this is they don't have any money for this, except that you have got this is all being done on a regular, uh, and this this film is going to be uh, sent into some of the film festivals. Hopefully, yeah, that's the plan. You know, yeah. that's, uh, we'll, we'll come to that when we, when we get there, but right now we're just trying to put it together. And Now, would that eventually possibly go out to theaters? Or? No, it, short films don't really go out to, to movie theaters um, oh, unless okay. they're playing in a festival. Oh, so it's that, a, sh a fairly short film. Yeah, it'll probably be like 15 minutes. 50 minutes? 15. Oh, one, 15, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then that's perfect for the Internet. Yeah, you're right, yeah. You know, a lot of people don't want to watch something on the Internet that's longer than, you know. No, I mean, well, watch you, on their phone. Yeah. It's probably a guy. You, you, you'll lose the connection or something. Right. <laughs> so, I still can't get used to the little screen. I know a lot of people do, but I just can't. Yeah, <laughs> and we have horrible Wi-Fi at our house, yeah. so it's oh. like we, we can't watch any. We can't watch anything. Yeah, else. since you mentioned you, have, you're both uh, from Northbridge, right? Yeah, we live right down the street. Actually, it took oh. us like a We're minute about? and a half to get here. Yeah, uh, we live up on uh, MacArthur Road off of Brookway. Yeah, you know it. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm on a planning board. Oh yeah. I, I was on a planning. I've been on a planning board for many years, and then I was, took a reprieve, and now I'm back on. But I was there when they, when that was built. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, we've been in Northbridge um, like 18 years now, I think. Yeah, I moved here in 2001. I same, understand same how house. long ago I was. <laughs> yeah. 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 I went on a board in the 90s, so that's. A while ago. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't seem it to me, but it is. It is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I originally, are you originally from Northbridge? Um, well, we moved there in two thousand one. Um, before then, we were up on the North Shore. Oh, okay. Jesus, and then what? Before then, it was like, where? Uh, where Georgia. Georgia. Well, I, we were like I wasn't Georgia there for a couple months. Yeah. Where were you on the North Shore? Uh, Merrimack. 
on the yeah. New Hampshire border. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice area. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But how'd you find life in the Blackstone Valley? Well, you were pretty pretty young when you got here. Yeah, you'd have to ask yeah. my parents. Maybe they can call in yeah. and yeah. tell you. What? Uh, what? You went to Norbridge High. I yeah. did. Yeah. I did. Um, we have uh, we have an older brother. He and I both went to Northbridge High. Uh, major went to a uh, Douglas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. On the school choice. School choice. Yeah. yeah. Now they have. Uh, well, I don't know if it was there when you were there. Was the uh, video uh, audio video uh, class they have in Douglas or in Northbridge? In Northbridge. In Northbridge, yeah. Um, I was actually enrolled in that. It was the first. I think the first year. They had it going, and I was I was in that class. Was yeah. Mrs. Hebert. Yes, Mrs. Hebert. Yep. Yeah. I had her. Yeah, they do quite. A, she does quite a bit. Yeah, and I've like uh, kept in touch with her. You know, it sounds like everything's going well. It's continuing to roll on and improve, so the program's getting bigger, which is good to hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, did you know we were here at all, or? Um, vaguely, didn't know too much about it. We knew about it. Yeah. yeah. We didn't know like the whole studio and all that, but we. Yeah. Well, we, when you rolled by, there's a sign out there that says NCTV. Do you wonder? I wonder what that is. Yeah. 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 I mean, we knew like it existed, but we never, you know. First we time want here. more people to take part. We we opened it up. I tell you guys, you because you're not residents could mm -hmm. come in here and and do production work. Yeah. yeah. And, and in fact, I would like to have the school take part in it more. Yeah. I want you know I watched an episode and I saw you did the green screen and you put people on Church Street. And I was like hoping maybe you could put us like I don't know the, the town beach or like in the Walmart yeah. parking lot or it's something. Well, we could have done that, but we'd have to change the screen. Oh, yeah. I would have loved to have done this talk in the Walmart parking lot. <laughs> yeah, that would have been. Yeah, we could have done that. Yeah, because we I, we had that was a couple of weeks ago. I had the people on for the uh, the sidewalk sale. Yeah. It didn't look like we were actually on Trish Street. It did, right? yeah. I had to do yeah. a double take. Yeah, the green guys... screen is an amazing thing. Yeah, I thought you guys were going to get hit by a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, could, we can put you anywhere in, a, anywhere in the world or out of the world. We yeah. can put you on the moon. Yeah, where would, where would you want to go? Uh, in Northbridge? Or anywhere. anywhere. I don't know. Could you do like Atlantis? Or... <laughs> yeah, we could do that. <laughs> uh, underwater or if, something? If we, yeah. off, if we can get a picture yeah. off the internet, we can put you there. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. Let's Maybe get we'll to come back and see yeah. where we can go. Yeah. yeah I, wish it, I wish I had known before you came on, we would have yeah. moved the screen real quick. And yeah. We could, would have put yeah. you in different places. That could be a name for another show. Like, yeah. Where in the world is Harry Berkowitz? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just put you all across yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah we actually tried to, uh, I was going to do a science fiction movie show, and we opened it up. I did an opening sitting in the captain's chair on the Enterprise. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's, so. cool. that's cool. And, and yeah. it looked like I was really there. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it, that's it, so the, cool. you know, a, a lot of, well, you know, being in movies, they do a lot of stuff with green screens. Yeah, they do. I mean, it's not something that, you know, at the budget we're working with that we know a whole lot about. But, um, yeah, you know, you're right. It's, it's crazy the stuff that they can do. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. What the, it, uh, what was that movie where they, uh, where they fly all the time, I can't think of it. They won an Academy Award, I guess. Uh, gravity? What is it? You talking about gravity? Not, oh. Well, gravity's one, yeah. That was done with green screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. No, the, uh, where they go to this, they're on another planet, and they, they invade this planet where they have people there that look like insects to a certain extent. Huh, you know that? Oh, oh God. Yeah. Angry Birds? No. <laughs> I, I forget, I'm not a big movie guy. Yeah. I like old movies. Yeah. Oh, what do you like? I like the movies from the 30s. Yeah? I really do. I, I love those movies for some reason. Like Wizard of Oz and that kind of thing? Well, some of, uh, Cagney. Cagney's one of my oh, favorites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? All, all those types of movies. Because they, they're, they're, cause they're like different. That. Yeah. I think movies today try to be more like reality. They didn't. Right. They were, they were you know, movies. They were movies. You're right. Yeah. Right. They didn't deal with, with, with re reality. Yeah. And today we try to be too real, and it's not the same. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hate to break it to you, but our film is, you know, very much rooted in reality. Yeah. Well, yeah, because that's what the concept. Is. That's <laughs> right. what you do today. That's. Yeah. I mean, yeah. in the movie industry. Yeah. That that's the way you do it today. Right. Yeah. Now you're filming here, but where else have you filmed on this? It was. A, has it been in the studio or? The the film we're making. Yeah. So we haven't shot anything yet. Um, that's going to be later in July. But you know, just all around town. Um, oh, you know, okay. like residential properties and uh, shooting in a car a bit, you know, around Northbridge. You know, just oh, kind of all right. Stuff. But, um, you know, baseball field is the biggest. Yeah, because, you know, a lot of people don't realize it, but 
a movie isn't shot in the, in the order that you see it. Right. Yeah, you shoot different scenes, and then after it's all done, you put it all together. Yeah. Yeah. So you might do the last scene first. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's whatever whatever works. Yeah. It's, you know yeah. that's that's Creighton's area. They kind of just putting together. You know, logistics wise. That's where it can be tough. That's where you're going to be good actors. Yeah. Because you think, wow, they're just going through the role and they stop from A and go to B, uh, don't go down to Z. No, it doesn't work that way. You're shooting different scenes, so you could adjust to each scene. Yeah. And you might be shooting something now that happens later on, but you've got to deal with it later on as if it didn't happen. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you've got to remind them you know, what yeah. just happened before in the timeline of the film so they yeah. can have that in mind going into the Yeah, next that's scene. why. Uh, now, have you got some professional actors coming in, or are they... We do, yeah. We're we're really excited about the actors we got attached to this. Um, some great, great oh, so talent. They're not students. They're actual. Oh yeah, they're professionals. Professionals, they're working professionals. yeah. Um, and um, Columbia put it in the budget for you. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> well, yeah. But uh, you yeah, know, yeah. You, you have a minimum payment. You have the actors go, and there's a minimum. You have money. You have to pay them per day. That's true. Yeah, we're seeing you know with the budget we have, who's willing to do what. For free, you know, this is yeah. you know super low budget. So we're trying to you know see yeah. what we can afford, what we can can com can cut back on, yeah, and kind of just see you know where our money is best spent. And um, yeah, it's, it's it's great if we can get you know very talented people to, to work for free because they believe in the story and believe in the project. Yeah, that's quite a task in itself, right there. Just doing all of, and that's your job as a producer. Yeah, yeah, no, um, that's one of my favorite parts, honestly, is doing the casting. Um, I think we had we had some success with it, and as Major said, um, it's like one thing if you're a good actor, but you need someone to buy in to the story yeah. um, that you know the writer created, and that's I think that's the most difficult part. Because um, yeah. I mean, if we could get like I don't know, like Leonardo DiCaprio to do this for <laughs> oh free, God, well, doesn't mean he's the well, right person. Well, like if you well, do it for free, doesn't mean he's the right person to. Yeah. to if you get to do it for free, you'd have a ton of people here for seconds. <laughs> true. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. No, I think uh, I think the people that we found really. Uh, yeah. Or bought in and fit uh, the look that we're going for. Well, I mean, I'd be, you'd be forced not to come down here to be a second just to see the experience, the, uh, the making of a movie. Yeah, yeah, we've had some people actually reach out to us that want to just come in and um, kind of see, you know, what it's like doing, uh, you know, in the production phase, um, which we think is really cool because, like, we've been there, you know, as young people that wanted to get involved yeah. in the filmmaking industry, you know, and it's a great experience just seeing Experience. Yeah, yeah. Is he, is we should plug the the email. We have we have an email that people can reach yeah, out to. Yeah, let them have it. Maybe we can do like a like a lower third or something. Is yeah. it? Or can, I can just say it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. July, I reach out to July fourth. Reach out to July fourth casting uh, at gmail dot com if you're interested in being an extra for a big scene that we have planned. Um, and I'll I'll also say that we are looking for we're still looking for one role. It's a um, around a fifty year old woman. If you're interested, if you know, it doesn't matter if you have no experience at all. Reach out to July fourth casting at gmail dot com and uh, you know let us know if you're interested and maybe we can set something up. Fifty year old woman, we got fifty year old women watch this show. Come on, <laughs> yeah, we we're looking for you. Yeah, I mean, it's a great opportunity, and who knows, somebody might see it and say, hey, she's pretty good, and give you a job later on. Yeah, yeah. Right? Who knows? It could it could could spark a career. Yeah, <laughs> you never know. Yeah, yeah exactly. This is going to be reviewed by uh, people in the business. Yeah, yeah, right. So, hey, I mean, it's a great opportunity. And the thing is, acting, if you get a good coach, can help you to really do a good job. Yeah. And you'll coach them. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. I mean, that's, we need a great director, you know. Yeah. With this guy over here. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, when you, you watch a film and you see a really good scene, the director is the one that really made that scene. Because he told the actors, he or she told the actors, do this, do that, uh, you know, even facial expressions. Are yeah. all being told by the director who's, who's observing the scene. And you, you might do them four or five times, maybe a dozen times. Yeah, but also, you know, if you cast the right actor, then a lot of times they'll, you know, you might not even tell them anything. And they'll just... Right, they just, they just know, do, know exactly you know, what to you know, do. They know what to do, they're... Well, very, you know, that's where a director says they're a good person to, to direct because they know exactly yeah, what to do. Need to do anything. Makes my job easy. Yeah. yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, that's you, you might have you can have someone. Uh, people come off the street all the time and become actors. 
Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times you don't even need any experience and you just, you know, somebody cast you and off the street and yeah. nobody knows. It's, it has happened. Yeah. Happens a lot. So, I mean, uh, so, but you're going to be shooting all around town. What are the so much scenes you're going to be doing around town? Well, we're shooting a scene um, at just, you know, a suburban house. Um, we, we have that. We, we're closing in on that. Um, and then a lot of it. Have you found a house? We, we think we have. We're, we're close. Um, we have some options, but we're, we're closing in on it. Um, and then a lot of it takes place in a car, you know, a mom and her two kids yeah. you know, just kind of zipping around town. Um, and then, you know, the field. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a few other things that we're trying to sort out, but... Shooting out in the field is tough. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a big area with a lot of different zones that we yeah. kind of have little scenes planted here and there. So it's kind of, it's kind of interesting in that regard where how that's like there's different zones of it within this entire space. But doing the shooting now, I mean, you're in a studio you, you, like we are right now. Everything's set up, your cameras are there, and you, you know, don't worry about the way things go. You, you got it all directed out, but you're out in the, out in the uh, environment. Yeah. And now you have you have less control. Yeah. And you want to get that scene just right, and, you, and, you've got to, and you shoot more than one angle. Uh huh. Yeah. You so that be, you, you can go back and, fill, and feed it, you know, put it together, piece it together in the way you want it to come out. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy's been like, you know, checking on the weather and kind of seeing, uh, you know, we got to worry about like sunset and so the sun, is, you know, the sun. Yeah, moves. you got to deal with the yeah. uh, with the light. Yeah. And you know, I mean, people don't realize how much goes into making a film. Yeah. A, a standard film, but ninety minutes. Yeah. And you probably shoot for six months. Right. Yeah. I think yeah, a lot of people, you know, will see a movie and they're like, you know, they're just looking at like, you know, the dialogue, the action, but yeah. really, you know, it can be. People forget about how much goes into it yeah. in terms of like behind the scenes. Yeah, nobody, um, nobody knows. Like, you need like all the insurance stuff. Um, you know, getting permits and stuff. There's a lot that goes on behind yeah. the scenes that are critical. You know, a few years back we had a movie shot here. Yeah, the uh, John, John Travolta one. Yeah, tr a civil action. Yeah. And you know, it was quite a day for people, and they took they were here for a couple of days, I guess. Yeah. And they did different scenes. You know, and, and you would do it over and over to make sure you got the right way. And they used a house on uh, First Ave. Oh, really? Yeah, they filmed inside it. I admit I haven't seen the film. I need, I need, to, I need to see it. Uh, yeah. so I'm yeah. embarrassed. Well, well, well now you could probably find it at Netflix. Yeah. yeah. What year was it? It had to be about, oh, God, the 90s? I think so. It was in the 90s. Yeah. It was filmed. Huh. In fact, uh, Jim Knott owned Riverdale Mill. Yeah, and they, sh they shot there, right? Yeah, they shot there. Yeah, I've, I've heard about well, it. Well, when the movie came out, he rented a theater in Worcester. And I was one of the fortunate ones. He invited a whole bunch of us to come and watch it. He paid for it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So uh -huh. I got to see it in the theater. Yeah. And uh, it was good. It was, they did a good job. Yeah, you liked it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, I mean, t movies today too are a lot more difficult to film than they were back. In I like I say, I like the stuff out of the '30s, but filming today is a lot tougher. The, the scenes are more realistic. Yeah, yeah, and um, and you know, I mean, they use a lot of technic uh, technique technical stuff today mm -hmm. that you didn't have back in the '30s. But people want to see more. Yeah, well, it's also harder for you know. Movies like the movies that we're the the one we're making now harder for those to get made, yeah. Because the only movies that are really getting seen today are you know Captain America and all these huge superhero movies that uh, that's where all the money's going. It's yeah. Hard. It's people don't. Uh, it's hard to get money for you know these kinds of you know family stories, these uh, indie movies. It's it's and kind of, uh, and those pe people go to those movies. Yeah, I you know we we do. Yeah. Yeah. So we prefer but, it. But it, yeah, yeah, all you hear about is the you know the Spider Man or uh, yeah, uh, I have the latest one, Ant or something. I yeah, <laughs> yeah, Ant Man. Ant Man. Yeah. Have you seen it? No. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm not big on that stuff. <laughs> yeah. I really not. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it says a lot when you go. You know, you watch the Academy Awards. Those movies aren't getting nominated for stuff other than you know special effects or yeah, like uh, music. But like you know, you see all but these. But they're making money. Films. Right. Yeah. I think. But I think the majority of the films that you know are continuously getting recognized like the oscars or these f films that we're talking about you know like yeah, artist right. artistic vision you know it might not be the big name films but um i think those are the ones people are drifting towards yeah, yeah but the thing is that most of the moviegoers don't look at artistic mm. 
Right. Yeah, people want explosions and like fast cars yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't have any of that. Yeah. And sorry to no, yeah. like, disappoint. <laughs> Me, I'm I'm a Trekkie. I I love all the Star yeah. Trek. I can yeah. watch them over and over. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you like Star Wars? We go watch yeah. Star Wars. I'm not into Star Wars. Oh so. yeah. Uh. <laughs> I find Star Trek is more real. I know it's not now. It's the future, but it's more what I would think the future would be, and re more realistic than yeah. Star Wars. Versus Star Wars. Yeah. You put yourself in the Star Trek Enterprise with the green screen. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I should have guessed. But yeah, it's the way you know. It's the interaction between the characters and the way it's still human nature is still yeah. the same. Right. And that's why I like I like uh, Star Trek. Yeah. Yeah, I, have you seen Star Trek? No. Yeah, I don't think we've seen, seen Star yeah. Trek. Oh, you never we, saw we were just we were always Star Wars kids. Yeah, we watched Star Wars like over yeah. and over. That's yeah, because it, yeah, I remember when it came out in the seventies was a big thing. Yeah, yeah. I think oh. like growing up, it's either one or the other. Because if you see like if you watch Star Wars a lot, and like you see Star Trek, it's like, whoa, what is this? This is like yeah. way too different. <laughs> yeah. like, but I'm see, I go I go back to the original Star Trek from nineteen sixties. Yeah. I I used to love watching that on it was I think Thursday nights, on NBC, and and. So I, when they came with the movie, oh wow! Yeah. And then, uh, of course, they went into uh, the uh, next generation, and you had uh, Space Station uh, Nine, Deep Space Nine. Yeah. And all, I mean, all of a Voyager. I love them all. Yeah. Well, so. we gotta catch up. It's, yeah. Oh, it's yeah, such a series now. It's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. We get home. Yeah. Marathon. Yeah. Start right away. Yeah. Well, if you have, I, I have Amazon. Oh, they're all yeah, on Amazon it. Prime. So a lot of that, there's, there's a whole, all the series are on Amazon Prime. Yeah. yeah. The, the movies, the TV series, as well as a lot of the movies. I guess they're coming out with another one, but yeah, they're, they're, they're trying to, starting to re destroy it because it's going away from the original concept. Yeah. Mm. We're, we're digressing here, getting away from what yeah. you guys are it's doing. Big Star Trek yeah. discussion. <laughs> yeah. So. So you really haven't started filming yet, but you've got to get this done by September, right? Um, yeah, we'll be done by September, but um, yeah, we're shooting, shooting mid to end July, and um, yeah, right now it's just, you know, we're just getting everything together and yeah, making sure everything's set and yeah. I mean, I think we're we're in a good spot. We're almost ready to um, get going on it. And we're we're all excited. Yeah. So you're hoping to get a job in uh, motion pictures, right? Um, I actually want to go into uh, ice cream. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. For both of us, that's what we want to do. We just want to do. We just want to do what we're doing now, um, and make money. So right now, we're not, we're not making money for this. But, uh, of course, it, it, uh, well, most of the mo well now motion picture business is all over the country. Yeah, and they film everywhere, and of course, TV shows are filmed everywhere. But you know, for many, uh, it's still a case that. Most the highest unemployment rate is amongst people making motion pictures. Yeah. Between actors and and producers and directors and yeah. and you know because only so many can make yeah. it big. Right. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah. You know, we're confident though. We think. Uh, but you know, there are other fields too in it because uh, companies have have production work done now. Yeah. For training purposes and. Yeah, there's. I mean, there's a lot of different uh, avenues that you can, yeah. you can go. Um, but, uh, Producing know. commercial uh, uh, music videos. Yeah. Big thing now. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think especially now more than ever, um, you can you find content almost anywhere. You know, you got streaming, yeah. broadcast, cable. Well, that's it. There's um, so much broadcasting now. Yeah. Wait, look at I'm into broadcasting, and yeah. whoever thought that would happen, I, but I don't get paid. I'm I'm into I'm into radio broadcasting too. Yeah. So. But I mean, uh, things have changed. I, I I can tell you, back when I really wanted to get to radio, you had to go to school for it. Yeah. You had to be licensed to be on the air. Yeah. No more. They they regulate it, and that way the FCC license isn't required anymore. Yeah. Because I was going to school for it, and I said, "The heck with this! I'm not going to make any money." Right. Because here again, like any part of entertainment, only a certain few make it. And it's a long, hard road to get there. Yeah. So, and I, I got married and I had, you know, we wanted to start a family and everything. So I went into sales because it was, that's where I could make money right away. Yeah. <laughs> but now I'm into radio at a 71 years old. I'm in radio. <laughs> yeah. So I, I finally got you there. You made it, yeah. 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 But and now the is the best time there because I don't have to worry about how much I make. Right. <laughs> and the radio is done, the radio show is done here too, right? No. Oh, I, I, I actually go out to people and record it because I can, 
with today's technology, I got a little recorder. Yeah. You know, about the size of a candy bar. Uh huh. Holds 12 hours. I record a 10 minute interview. I do two 10 minute interviews. Yeah. And I email it to the station. So I don't have to even go in. Right. And they edit it out and put in the uh, opening, the closing, the commercials. And yeah. It plays, uh, is recording, the recording plays on Saturday and Sunday. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. Sounds I mean, so that's easy. Why modern technology is fantastic. Yeah. But, you know, and I'm doing what I've been doing for 30 years on TV is interviews. Right, yeah. I guess it's the same thing, huh? Yeah, so I, I, you know, I developed a doing, way of doing interviews. Hmm. In fact, when I was in high school, we had an English class, and one of the projects we had, i never forget it, was to interview someone. Yeah. I said, I couldn't do that. Now I do it all the time. Right, yeah. <laughs> I don't even do it with notes. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm proud. Working yeah. with the best. Yeah. Uh, so but it, it comes with experience. <laughs> like anything else, you can learn anything with experience. Yeah. You do it over, you do it enough times, you get good at it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing for so long. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, but, uh, uh, it's what fun. made you want to go into this field? Um, well, um, I don't know. I guess, I guess I didn't always want to do it. Um, I went. To, I went to school for engineering, actually. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Big difference. Um, yeah, it was a big difference. And then after a couple of semesters, I just kind of like realized. I thought, you know, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> so like, why would anybody want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> um, and you know, I had always made. I had always, you know, played around with the camera and made little videos and. I love movies, and I thought, like, okay, this is something that I'm really interested in and I think I'm really good at. Um, and then, yeah, I just decided to... I always said, I don't care what you do for a living. I don't care if you're a janitor or uh, you're president of the United States. Do what you like. Yeah. Because you're going to do it all your life. And you're going to do it a lot of hours per day, more than you do anything else per day. So do something you like, and then you don't mind doing it. That's what, I love sales, and I did it for 30 years, and I love doing it. And now I do what I love again. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the way to look at it. It doesn't matter how much, how much money you make or anything like that, as long as you enjoy what you're doing. Yeah. And if you can get a good job out of it, hey, that's even better. Yeah. So I guess I you, you'd fall in that route. Yeah. Yeah, same for you. Right? Yeah, I mean, um, I was, like, I, as I mentioned earlier, I, I took some classes in high school, I was always interested in, uh, like, you know, film, television, yeah. and um, I guess I never really looked at it, like, seriously, yeah. like, the way I, I do now. I guess seeing him kind of take the steps to kind of pursue that career was definitely, like, inspiration. I thought, like, uh, I want to do that, too, like, you know, once I saw him kind of get going with it. Uh, are yeah. you at Columbia, too? No, I'm, uh, I'm at Emerson College. Well, yeah. 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 Oh, uh, talk about communication. Yeah, yeah. right. Are you looking at communications or? Oh no, I'm I'm in the film and TV program. So, oh, okay. Um, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. We yeah we actually we did the same program. I did my undergrad at Emerson, so we uh, you know same program and then I'm uh, I'm at Columbia for mm -hmm. my master's. Yeah. Oh, you're in your master's. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa. So you're you're yeah, okay. So you're in your post grad. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little more difficult now. I guess, yeah. The, uh, the the Emerson program that we we both that I did in Creighton's and now is really good for you know just like this solid foundation right. film it. Yeah, wouldn't you say it's just like yeah. I, I mean, I kind of came in with the broad program. I wasn't sure exactly, but I think they yeah. they really set it up so like by the time you're graduating, you know exactly what you want to do. Which I think I mean that's the ultimate goal. Well, you, well you the thing with Emerson, it. it's a lot of your instructors are in the trade. Yeah. So that's the best teachers. Mm. You know, a, a professor who only taught and never worked in the real world, I don't think they really know what the hell the real world is like. Right, yeah. But you, when you go to Emerson, you're getting people that did work in the real world. Right. So you're getting, that, that's really the best experience and the best teaching. Yeah. Now, uh, you're working, what do you plan on for a thesis? Um, well, I guess that's... That's uh, going to be required. Right, yeah. The thesis will be, um, I'll start developing that, um, I don't know, within, after, after I finish. Yeah. After I finish yeah. One project at a time. Right, yeah. 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 
No ideas of what you want to do. So you really got to plan it ahead. Yeah, I have rough ideas. Not sure exactly. So, which. so you're making no notes, and you're keeping an idea of what you're gonna what you're gonna do. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll, you know, we'll start developing that later in the fall after um, you know we finish, make some good headway on this film. But um, yeah, yeah. That's, this is like the second year project at Columbia. And this is a requirement on your masters. Yeah. Because I don't, you don't require it in in, in uh, pre grad, right? No, but um, they do have a great uh, like uh, capstone program that I know a lot of kids will uh, partake in, which I'm gonna get into that next year. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, okay. What year are you in now? I'm gonna be a senior. Oh. Yep, senior okay. in my undergrad. So yeah. That's amazing, though. That you both and your brothers, and you both end up with the same ideas. Yeah, I know. Like um. You know, he, I missed him by a semester. He graduated. I came in the semester after, but um, yeah. this is kind of the first time we've ever got to work on, you know, like a project together. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun learning a lot. So right. it's a great experience. Usually you don't see members of the same family going in the same direction, unless yeah. it's a family business. I mean, I got two sons, and I always told them, do what you really like to do. Yeah. My oldest is a physician, mm -hmm. uh, geriatrics and family medicine. And my younger one is a heavy equipment mechanic for CAT. Okay. Okay. They both do very well. Yeah. Both make great paychecks. But totally different. Yeah. But they both do what they like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're doing what we love. Our yeah. oldest brother is in the military, so it's kind of oh, the same, yeah. yeah. Is, he a, is he making it in the career? Yeah. Yeah. He's, uh, he's been in for five years now, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which so, branch? Uh, the Army. Yeah. I'm an army man. Oh, nice. awesome. <laughs> we thought yeah. so. Yeah, we could tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was never an officer, uh, though. I, I, yeah. I was an NCO, but another non commissioned yeah. officer when I yeah. got done. But I, I didn't make it through that many years. They took me kicking, I like to say, because <laughs> I got drafted. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have gone if they hadn't, but it was the best thing that ever happened to me because yeah. it turned my whole life around. Yeah. Made me change my way of thinking. And then I got out after two years, and I said, you know, that wasn't a bad thing. So I went in the National Guard and uh, did, did four years there. But then my career job, my boss was getting a little upset because I, you know, have to go to summer camp. And right. When I got, uh, I got activated for 30 days with a blizzard of 78, mm -hmm. that was the straw that broke the camel's back. He said, you've got to get out of this. Yeah. And I was gone for a month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, so is is he an officer in the army or? He is, yes. Yep. Oh, what rank? Uh, is cap, second lieutenant or first lieutenant? First, yeah, first, first lieutenant, lieutenant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he's been yeah he's, well he's been five years. Yeah, first lieutenant yeah. right now. Yep. Yeah, it's a lot harder now to go up in rank because all all your ranks are allocated by Congress, and it's like a budget, and you have to wait for openings, and so it's hard to advance because. Mm. You know they keep they keep cutting it back and mm -hmm. right unless somebody quits or uh, retires, it's hard to get an opening yeah. and you got to get it in your field. Yeah, right. Huh. Yeah. But uh, lieutenants today make a pretty good paycheck compared to what they used to make. Yeah, and we don't. I guess we don't. Know. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. Where's he? Where's he stationed at now? He's in um, El Paso. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, down the street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, he's right down there on the border. Yeah. Yeah. Is he down there um, as part of that? Yeah, I mean, I think, I'm not sure. He might be on the move soon, but um, yeah, he's, he's been there for a few years. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing I didn't like about when I was in. I probably would have stayed in, but, you know, you're, you're always going overseas. Yeah. You're always traveling. You don't stay in one place very long, a couple of years. Yeah. And that wasn't for me. That's why I didn't get into radio either, because if you're going to be a radio personality, you always have to be looking for another job. Yeah. Mm. And you're always moving. Yeah. And I wanted to be more stable. Yeah. And I live in the town I was born in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were born in Northbridge? Yeah. Well, I was born in Worcester, but I grew oh. up in Northbridge. Oh, wow. gotcha. Only because the hospital was in Worcester. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So... Yeah, I've been here, and I married a girl who lived down the street. Yeah. So wow. I mean, talk story. about being a homeboy. Yeah, right. right. Yeah. And you went to Northbridge High School? Yeah. Oh, wow. 
Very cool. We've been married, uh, we've married 48 years this uh, September. Congratulations. So yeah. we're, we're pretty stable. I still live in Northbridge. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. So we're, we're pretty stable about right. that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll build a statue soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I left yeah. my yeah. mark on the town by yeah. serving in town government quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Where and then doing this. Yeah. If there was, if they made a statue of you, where would you want it to go? Well, it's probably out front here. Yeah. Out front? Spot. Yeah. yeah. Not, <laughs> not in front of Harry's Pizza? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, Harry some Burkow, people thought Harry's. that I, I owned the place at one time. Yeah, I was going to say, is it named after you? No, no. no. <laughs> the, the guy who actually started it, it was a, almost like a little chain. He had them all over the place. Harry's famous. Yeah, family. you've seen him a couple of times. There's one in Douglas, right? Yeah, yeah in Douglas. It was in Oxbridge. Yeah. And yeah. They were all over the place. You should just pretend that it is you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know the owner quite well. Yeah. And the two of the two brothers. And uh, they've done very well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we love uh, we love their yeah. pizza. Yeah, yeah. It's, a oh, it's good. They do a good job. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny. We have this game. Uh, yeah. Play with the game. Yeah, yeah. Um, so every time our family goes to Harry's, because we always see, you know, it's such like a, a Northbridge staple. Yeah, it's like a always, yeah. it is right. Yeah. So yeah. We always, you know, our our rule when we go to Harry's is that we can't leave until we see somebody we know and we say hi to them. <laughs> So <laughs> we've always been able to yeah. leave, but yeah. you know sometimes we've stayed there for like two hours until somebody yeah. we know walks in. So that's our rule when we go to Harry's. Yeah. Oh. We can't leave until. Yeah. So. But you know, here, growing up in this town, I, of course, we knew everybody because we were, we were a very small community, and at the time we we're probably under ten thousand. Yeah. Now we're up to sixteen thousand, and that shot up over a few years because of all the housing developments. But, you know, I, I, now I'm around town. I don't see people for years. Yeah. And then I'll run into them and say, Look, I haven't seen you in years. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes I run into them and I don't even know who they are. Yeah. Because <laughs> I haven't just, seen them so just long. Just go to Harry's and they'll yeah. walk in. Yeah. yeah. Harry's or Walmart. But we're now, <laughs> yeah. the, I'm in Walmart all the time. Yeah. I'm in Harry's quite a bit. Yeah. But yeah. I got to watch it too because I got to watch the diet. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's good. But it is great food. It, it, yeah. It's great pizza. And, uh, like you say, it's a, an established loca location in town now. You know, yeah, everybody knows Harry's. Yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, growing up in Northbridge had to be somewhat of experience for you. Now you come back here now and, you, and you're going to make a movie. That's that's really something. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. And, yeah. Well, what are the dates here? What are, they, are we shooting? Yeah, when you're shooting, you have to, you have to we get that out to the people so they'll know when they come up and... Play extras. Yeah. Well, uh, just email email uh, us and we'll give you all the information. I just uh, I think that's probably the best way to do it. So just yeah. email you know email July fourth casting at gmail uh, dot com if you're interested in being an extra, um, and uh, and we'll reach out to you and give you all the information that you need to know. That's July fourth casting. July fourth. Uh, July. Yeah, July fourth. Four. Four T H. Yes. Four, yeah. Four T H casting at gmail and uh, we'll, yeah. We'll, uh, Give you all the info that you need. At at email. At Gmail. At Gmail. Gmail yeah. yeah. So many types of emails. Yeah. yeah. Should like hold up a, a sign? Yeah. <laughs> July fourth. <laughs> July fourth at Gmail. Dot com. com. Perfect. Yeah. 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 If you don't get it right, it won't work. <laughs> yeah. And I just said yeah. it like ten times. <laughs> you don't get it right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to answer your question about Northbridge, um, we always kind of say that we. We didn't really understand how like kind of quirky and unique it was until like you know we went to college and we came back and we, yep. you know we saw like the city and we come back here. I was like, oh, there's some kind of really weird and interesting stuff yeah. about Northridge <laughs> that uh, is kind of unique to to you know to the town itself. Um, well, yeah. I, I'm really proud of the fact that we are now part of the uh, Blackstone Valley. We're part of the Blackstone Valley corridor as well as the National Heritage Park, you know, so we're part of the uh, National Park System. Okay, yeah. Because we're the birthplace of the American Revolution. Right. Industrial That's Revolution. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Revere did his midnight ride around, yeah. Uh, yeah. around the Legion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're part of the Industrial Revolution, which I'm a big history guy. Yeah. I'm, I'm just wild about history. Yeah. In fact, I'm doing a tour for the uh, Park Service as a volunteer in September, and I'm going to do a talk about what we call the crossroads of Whitensville, 
and that's where the town hall, the bank, the community center, the town common are all located. And those, those were developed by the Whiten family, the cotton mill, the brick mill on the other side of the Mumford River. Mm -hmm. It's all part of the story of the Whitens and, and the formation of this community. Mm -hmm. You know, it actually uh, started out at Nopper Center. You know what Nopper Center, where the big water tank is at the top of the hill? Um, Nopper I don't know. We haven't been in town so probably long. Jim yeah. Bye. Well, you go up Hill yeah. Street, there's the huge water tower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 that's where the first town uh, hall was. Okay. It was actually a church, because that's how they formed these New England towns, was the churches. And it was up there, and uh, before they built it, everybody had to travel to Uxbridge. Uh -huh. To get to Uxbridge, they had to cross the Mumford River. So oh, wow. they decided that was too much of a trip on Sundays. Uh -huh. They wanted their own, so they built their own, yeah. and they called it Northbridge because it was north of the bridges. Wow. Gotcha. Yeah. I feel embarrassed. History, I yeah. Know that. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, the Whitens, uh, John Whiten came up with the uh, cotton processing machinery that he created, invented, and became part of a staple. A lot of, all the cotton mills along the Blackstone River and the other rivers around here in the valley bought his equipment. He became bigger and bigger and became a bigger manufacturer. Uh -huh. Well, then, he want, they wanted to get, uh, when he died, they actually named the village Whitensville after him. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you this one because you're going to love this. Okay. Prior to it being Whitensville, you know what it was called? What? South Northbridge. Oh, really? South yeah. Northbridge. Does that make any sense? Yeah. Was there a hyphen or? I don't know. It was a hyphen, yeah. but it was called <laughs> South Northbridge. Wow, that's it's strange, isn't I it? I wish they didn't change it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm glad Northbridge. they changed it. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the family built the town hall right after the Civil War. That's why it's called Memorial Town Hall. Uh -huh. And the other town hall was still up there at Napa Center. And it took them like two years to convince the town to move the government down to the new town hall, right, yeah. even though they were going to give it to them. Yeah. And when, when was this? Around what time? Uh, right, that was around 1878 they finally moved down here, or wow. somewhere. It was after the Civil War. Yeah. Cool, all this stuff. And, yeah. yeah. Did you know this? Deny There's so it. much interesting yeah. stuff that, to be in, in town that you can learn the history. Yeah. That'd be a great movie in itself. Yeah. That'd be cool. The story of uh, South Northbridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, isn't that strange? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's really weird. But uh, Who came up with that idea? I, 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 you know, people that lived there then. Right? <laughs> yes. so, to them, it probably sounded like it made sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh? yeah. It's like... Uh, this part of town we call it Rockdale now was actually its original name was uh, Upper Holbrook Village hmm. because the Holbrook family owned the original mill. Yeah. And Riverdale was Lower Holbrook Village. Yeah. Well, the Whitens took it over from the Holbrook family, who I guess there was some animosity there, you know, probably a little competition. When they took it over, they said, "Hey, we could get rid of that name." Well, they saw the shiny rocks and they said, "Look at those rocks." We'll call it Rockdale. Yeah. And Riverdale, well, of course, because the river was mm -hmm. right there. Right. Wow. Wow. Well, Rockdale has more of a ring to it. Yeah. Yeah. And then Shining Rock, you said Shiny Rocks. I assume Sh Shining Rock was named after whatever Shining Rocks. Well, you could, if you can't see them as well now because it's all grown in. Yeah. But, you know, if you go back uh, prior to the uh, turn of the century, they had cut all the trees. Yeah. Everything was open fields. And, uh, in fact, they cut all the trees from here to the New York border. Wow. You go out to Western Mass, you can still see the kilns where they made charcoal yeah. for the mills. But, anyway, the rocks, you can see them, and there's a lot of mica in the rocks. Granite has a lot of mica in it. Huh. And it would shine. That's why they call it. When the sun oh. hit it, it would shine. Oh. Wow. Shine rock. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if the people who live there know that. And it made a good name for a golf course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which a lot of people don't realize. We have a great golf course up there if you're into golf at all. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be surprised that a, a town like this has two golf courses. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, here again, yeah. now, the Waynesville Golf Course, that's only a, that's a nine hole. Yeah. That was built by the Whitens. And that for the recreation of their 
the executives in the shop as well as customers that would come in you know to buy the machinery right so that's why the Whitens built that yeah and that, that was a private it was still is a private club yeah it's open membership but do you golf Eric? no yeah neither no. do we we, we actually, tried. We, yeah, we tried. <laughs> Didn't go well. No. no. We went to the driving range, so not really golfing. <laughs> we, got, we, got, yeah. we didn't have gloves. Yeah. So we got, well, we the hard way. Yeah. You were around when, when the Shining Rock was all woods. Yeah. Yeah. A guy from a Lincoln came in, Lincoln Mass, Fred Bruin, with the idea of building that uh, golf course up there and, and the housing and all that. And I, I was on a planning board at that time, and I says, Fred, you're going to go broke doing this. Yeah. No, no, I said, I said, Fred, I grew up in those woods. Yeah. I know what that's like up there. Yeah. It's all ledge. Well, he did. He went broke. Yeah. The bank took it over, and they finished it. And, and he, went, he just went and broke. And got it to get the new owners in. Wow. Huh. Because building that, just building the road that goes up, and where he built it, I, oh, we used yeah. to call that, we call it second ledge because it was all... Was big ledges in there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's just, yeah, I grew up romping in those woods. <laughs> <laughs> you probably did too. You weren't Honestly, too far yeah. away. We, we, yeah, we hiked up there before the development was, yeah. was built. Yeah. Yeah. There's actually in our uh, in our neighborhood. There's like a pathway through the woods that'll take you up to the golf yeah. course. Yeah. In fact, where you live, as a Boy Scout, I went camping up there. Oh yeah. Yeah, there used to be a road, like a dirt road going in, uh, well, cow path yeah. going in, and we went up there and camped overnight. Oh, wow. So yeah. Maybe you camped in our front yard. <laughs> yeah, it might have been. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could have been. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. He had quite a job building that area, too. Uh, the man who built, he's in Florida now. Yeah. The man who did the, the development. The, yeah. Um, I'm curious, Sarah, is this is this uh, people call into the show? They can. Oh wow! So I guess we don't have any. Fans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody's calling. I don't get a lot of calls because people watch the show and it's like being a voyeur. Yeah. You sit home and you're watching this conversation and nobody yeah. knows you. You know, yeah. none of the people having it know you're watching them. Yeah. But they are. I hope somebody calls. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be cool. Well, we just had a call on the last show, but oh, yeah? if they don't find anything of interest, but it'd be nice if you call them <laughs> and ask them. Well, it, 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 I mean, what they find, I, I hear from people is, yeah. I said, why didn't you call? Well, you asked all the questions. Oh, yeah. Wow. So I didn't call in. Yeah. Wow. And then I have people don't want to call in because they don't want people to hear them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. They, they, they figure their voice will get recognized. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, it'll be fine if somebody does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would th think they'll probably call in because be curious about what's going on with this movie. And yeah. they're going to be all over town. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't got a production schedule yet. Uh, we have a loose, loose schedule. Yeah. Still, you know, figuring out when people are available and when the best time to shoot some stuff is. But, um, you know, mid to end July, we have some ideas. But your, your uh, main actors are coming in from out of town, I assume. Yeah, out of town. Um, you know, Boston area, kind of. One from New Hampshire. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But all over. Yeah, people don't realize there's actors all over the place. Yeah. You know, it's funny. And, and they work pretty steady because there's commercials and yeah. videos and things that are being shot everywhere. Yeah. So you don't have to be in Hollywood to be an actor. Yeah. We had to look a little harder uh, in Boston versus New York. You're making a film in New York. It's people are, yeah. are just fighting for, you know, for auditions and roles. And But here it's, yeah. it's a little harder. It's not uh, the... You know, the industry isn't as like saturated as New York. It's right. You have to look a little harder to find what you're looking to find what you want. Well, what's changed in Mass was under uh, back under Paul Salucci was governor. I knew Paul Salucci fairly well. Yeah. He put together a, a, a package that gave uh, film producers a tax break. Right. So that brought more in. And uh, in fact, the Teamsters Union banked it, backed it because a lot of Teamsters unions are involved. Teamsters Union is involved in some of the production work. Yeah. So they backed it to get more people filming around here, and it brought a lot of filming into Boston. Right. Yeah. Some great movies came out of Boston. Yeah. 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 Well, what's what's been coming out lately, in Boston? Like. Uh, I know Ryan Ryan Reynolds is shooting a movie. Oh yeah. You know, right now. 
Yeah, it's, it, it, it's pretty steady that they're, yeah. they're, they're, they're shooting in Boston. Yeah, yeah, some of the most popular movies that have come out in the last decade are yeah. based yeah. off of were shot in Boston. So. Yeah, there's always like a huge blockbuster. Yeah. It's like every year. It's yeah, it's like probably like about like the b Mafia or something, like yeah. the Southie or... Like um, well, it, it's going to be a movie yeah. being on a, in the works for uh, Whitey Bulger. Yeah. Well, that was uh, what The Departed. Yeah. Based on uh, Black Mass. Yeah. 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 yeah, they were based on him, but I'm talking real. Oh, yeah. yeah. A Action. movie really about him. Yeah. Would Especially, you Would you audition for Whitey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, my hair's not. Uh, well, it, maybe it is. <laughs> but uh, Whitey's younger days, no, I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that would be you know I figure that's going to happen eventually. But sure. you know we're undiscovered here. We, who knows if by your movie coming out, somebody goes, hey, hey, I've got some bad looking scenes in there. We could oh, you know what was filmed here many years ago? The uh, a movie Love Story with Ryan O'Neill. I don't know. Oh uh, no, so all that was a huge movie back in the in the early seventies. Yeah, shot in Northridge. Part of it. Yeah. In Wentonville, where the town hall is, yeah, he was he was supposedly uh, Ryan O'Neill, who was the uh, main character in the film. His father was an industrialist from Providence, or from Rhode Island somewhere. Yeah, and they sh had a scene where he came across that bridge, in a sports car. Yeah, that was all they thought. But oh, really? they spent the whole day doing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. Yeah, the bridge, uh, you know, down by the by downtown in front. That kind of goes up to what is it like? Into Douglas. Yeah. Wow. The Douglas Road Bridge. Very cool. Yeah, not the one that was it, that's there now, but the one before it. Yeah. That's a new one there now. All right. Wow. See, so we've had some films for. Yeah. And, oh, and uh, I'll give you a real good one, a movie thing. We're getting, getting running short of time here. Yeah. Uh, Betty Davis's first husband was from Northbridge. Really. Yep, lived up on Leland Street, and his name, his middle name was Oscar, uh -huh. and that's how they named the Oscars. Because when Betty Davis saw the Oscar, she said, "It looks like my husband Oscar naked." Wow! And that's how it got its name. And he was from Wayne's wife. I can't remember his name now. I, keep, so, I always forget it. So now someone it may call and give it to me. Yeah. So if anybody was ever wondering what this guy looked like naked, they would just look at the statue. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's uh, a fact. And she used to spend time here in town. Yeah. Of course, uh, she went to school in Massachusetts. She went to the, uh, in Ashburnham, uh, Cushing Academy. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, what was the school, what was the name of the film with Ryan O'Neill? Lo Love Story. Love Story. Okay, so Love Story, Civil Action, and Star Trek. We need to make sure we yeah. have. The Star Trek yeah. filmed in town? No, <laughs> no. Yeah. I will, our portion of it. <laughs> right, yeah, some scenes on, on Hill Street. Yeah. Which never got anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing how many things interrelate, though. Yeah, yeah, everything's kind of connected. Maybe yeah. Maybe like a larger sense, the whole universe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, you don't really think about it, but, it did, well, we had a lot of, a lot of characters came out of this town over the years. Yeah. Who else? Who else? What other notable people from Northbridge? Um, there was the uh, someone got drafted to the Red Sox, right? Oh yeah, well, well he's he's a little bit younger than you are. Uh, oh God, Acidorian. Acidorian. Yeah, Dave yeah, Acidorian. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm yeah. Surprised. I didn't. I, I didn't. All the stuff you just told. I didn't, we had. I didn't know uh, we had a. Uh, I can't remember names now. <laughs> Seventy-one years old. I keep forgetting. Uh, Vandersee, oh, he yeah, uh, yeah. played Back. for the uh, Packers. Right, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Who would have thought? Yeah. Northbridge. Small yeah. town, literally. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the days when the NFL was just getting started, and there wasn't a lot of teams around. Right. That's very cool. Rich history. Are you, well, are you familiar with uh, Upton Bell? No. Upton, he's worked at every radio and TV station in Boston. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a former right. uh, general manager of the... Uh, Patriots. Yeah. Right, yeah. He was he was on the show last week. Yeah. Wow. So he just wrote a book. I'm reading his book now about the formation of the NFL. Great book. Yeah. How it, how it really started out and how the beginning it was nothing. I mean nobody they were having a hard time selling tickets and teams would go bankrupt. 
Yeah. And now look at the NFL and they rule the sports world. Yeah. I mean, it, it's at the point that uh, Super Bowl Sunday, they want to make it a holiday. Yeah. <laughs> you know? right. So people can stay home to watch the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm for it. <laughs> you Patriots fan? Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I've always been a Patriots fan, but they stunk for years. Yeah. Right. We, uh, I guess we were born at the right time. Yeah. You were? Yeah. Yeah. Literally, During yeah. the craft era. Yeah. <laughs> because prior to that, I mean, they just, and they had some good players, they just couldn't get it together. Yeah. yeah. Steve Grogan, you're a fan? Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, uh, maybe things, some things happened by, we don't know why, but if Grogan hadn't got hurt when he did, yeah. would Brady be where he is today? Yeah. yeah. You know? Just left to wonder. <laughs> yeah. Isn't yeah. that something? Yeah. I, I hope somebody calls. <laughs> well, it's too late now. <laughs> too late? Too late now. Yeah. I'm on at the, I'm, I'm usually on at 7 to 9, 7 to 8, so yeah. maybe one. Oh, yeah. yeah. okay. People think there's... How do we measure up to Upton Bell? Like, like... Oh, Upton was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got millions of st He's interviewed presidents. Yeah. And he's, yeah. and Did he yeah. have callers? No, he was here in the station. He came to the studio. Oh, he didn't. He didn't do a uh, talk, or did he? He did. We sat like yeah, we're doing right did now. Did he get a lot of phone calls? Well, we didn't do it live. We uh, recorded it because uh, he he couldn't come here at night. He has a, his girlfriend drives him, yeah. and he's eighty two years old. Yeah, and she has cataracts, so she has a hard time driving at night. So he asked if he could come in around two o'clock in the afternoon. I said, No, no problem. We'll tape it. Yeah, uh, okay. worked out great. Yeah, that was very cool. Yeah. So we're sitting in the same chairs. Yeah. yeah, you're sitting in the same chair as uh, yeah. Upton. It's royalty. <laughs> it's royalty. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, but I've had other people. I've had governors on, and I had all this, the Republican senatorial candidates from the last election were on. Oh wow! Uh, well, I feel honored to be in the same, yeah. be in so, the same room, same chairs. Yeah. yeah. We have a lot of politicians on, especially yeah. when it when it comes election time. Oh yeah. It's the season right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, not yet. They, they, they. It's not till next year. Yeah. yeah. I think there's, there's a debate tonight, I believe, right? Yeah, they but yeah. Have, yeah. They, they've, they've gone to the point now. I mean, we're two years out and they're starting to run for president. This was never heard of before. This is getting ridiculous. Yeah. We yeah. need a break. Yeah. And you know what? After this presidential elections over, they'll start with the congressional elections again. There's only elections on even years. Right. But the odd years now have become a part of the election cycle. Yeah. And it's, it, it's not good. We, we need a break. Right, yeah. You know, like I got a politician who's going to be starting, he wants to do a regular show. He wanted to be on my show all the time, but I said, I can't, I have that on Thursday nights, but the, this legislature is in session a lot of Thursday nights. Yeah. So he's going to come into his own show now. Oh, wow. That's very cool. Because people do watch. Yeah. They know it. That's why they want to be on. Yeah. We should, we should make a show. Yeah. Yeah. What would our show be? Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe why don't cook, you think about that? Yeah, well, maybe a cooking show? Yeah, a cook, cooking show, maybe? maybe? Just yeah. like, just yeah. like maybe PB and j just yeah. some really simple stuff. Yeah. yeah. You've seen yeah. all the stuff we got out there. Yeah. I think you should do, like, a, a history yeah. show. I think you know so much. Yeah, well, I, about I, it. We just learned. I know, would like yeah. to, but I can't take out another one. Yeah. I'm doing four shows now. I do three myself, and I produce yeah. another one. Well, you just established your cred in this interview. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I work history into my regular show like I just oh, did. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, we got we to come on with the show. Yeah, we will. Oh. Yeah, we'll have That's to have funny. you back in, in September before you go back to school. Oh, yeah, we, then we can talk about the, yeah. the you know. Yeah, how the history. filming went. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But we got to go right now. Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we got to get out of here. Okay. We're going to go. We're going to see you. We will see you again in September after Labor Day.